Hi everyone, my name is Anna. I'm a mom of five and we have recently decided that we are going to homeschool this year. So um, this video is gonna be um, a few reasons why we've made the, the decision to transition from public school to homeschooling this year. One is pretty obvious. And then um, also I'm going to be sharing some steps in case you are also interested in making that, transi that transition for your family this year. Why have I chosen to homeschool this next school year? Well, one is it very obvious. Um, there, I personally feel there's still a lot of unknown, even three weeks out from school starting. I feel um, the districts are doing their best, no doubt in that, um, to put some systems in place to keep these kids um, healthy and also keep them on track academically. Um, we got a little taste of virtual and remote learning this past spring and it kind of um, we were able to get a lot done. I liked how it was flexible. I liked how we had um, different assignments to do throughout the week. We got to turn them in at the, at the end of the week. Um, we got to keep our day to do what we wanted to do. Um, at the same time though, if my kids are going to be at home learning, I want to be in charge of um, what I want to be in charge of what we're learning and when we're learning it and when it's due and um, I just feel like there's still a lot of un unknown about going back into the school year. I know that um, our district in particular, um, they, we had a choice to send them face-to-face -face or to do virtual learning and face-to-face -face has already been pushed back and um, me personally I just think it's gonna, I just think it's gonna keep on getting pushed back. I may be wrong um, but I just know that one of my kids in particular needs something that's consistent and um, we have to do that to get her back on track. So with that being said, I, I, I love this. I heard someone told me that homeschooling is a lifestyle and I love that approach, that it's a lifestyle, right? And that um, I love that you're able to meet your kid where they are. I have to... Um, totally um, different students that I'm going to be um, homeschooling. I have one who's going into third grade and I have one who's going into sixth grade and I also have a preschooler. We'll talk about him uh, maybe in a different video. This is going to be like for my two school aged children, what I've decided to do for them. Um, my third grader, she's struggling. She needs that one-on-one. -on -one. She needs the extra time. She needs um, her pace isn't as fast as the other kids in her grade level. Um, so I love that I'm able to meet her right where she is and to, to um, get her back on track, right? And on the other end is my um, sixth grader and he is far advanced. And I love that homeschooling could be, it's just the sky's the limit for him. There are no limits. He's able to um, I'm gonna let him choose what he wants to learn in science and social studies this year. Um, we get to do some advanced reading and math this year, and I really feel like he's going to um, get a lot from it as well. I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be the best the best thing for both of them, and they are in completely different worlds. So I'm super excited about that. That's one reason, just that the sky's the limit. That um, you know that he gets to he gets to move along he's not waiting for other kids in his classroom because he is just so advanced and he he does learn at a very fast pace um so there's no doubt that we're gonna um there's no doubt that we're gonna get pretty far this year with him and also he's just like a self-learner too so i can he can do so much on his own where i have the time to really focus and work with my third grader um I also like that. Um, I also like there's not really any just like checking off boxes. Working in public school, and I'm in Texas by the way. Working in um, a Texas public school, I felt like there is just so much like checking off the boxes. Like you have to do this, you have to do this, 
and I hate to say it, but um, a lot of it was getting, getting, uh, making sure the student was ready and prepared for a test. I just love that we'll be able to do what we need to do at home and um, get them where they need to be. So that's one. Um, I think I talked about this uh, flexibility, just the time. Um, how much more time that we have as a family not sending them to school all day long. We got a taste of this this past spring um, and we were able to finish their school in such a short period of the day. We're able to work, you know, just one, maybe two hours for my, my fifth grader um, and school was done and we had the rest of the day to make sure um, that our um, that our house duties were done and then to play and to spend time together as a family. So that was, I really liked that flexibility. Um, my husband currently um, is off every other week. So I feel like homeschooling is just gonna bless our family and um, to where we're able to do a little bit, a little bit more as a family together. And then also I've just had this strong urge or um, this strong sensation that God's just been kind of like pulling, pulling at me a little bit and then whenever um, all of this happened and we were kind of forced to um, school at home, I just realized that um, one, I'm capable, I can do it. But yeah, so those are our reasons. Those are our reasons. It just makes more sense um, for our family right now and I think that, um, like I said, I have experience in education. Not that you have to have experience in education to homeschool your children. You do not. But it was just kind of like a no-brainer, you know? Like, I'm not I'm not working outside of the home. I'm a certified teacher, and it's less kids in their class, so there's more space for other kids. Um, and then they're not having to be there all day because I feel like the whole vibe is gonna be a lot different this year. That's not, I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. It's just gonna be different. It's gonna be different. And um, thankfully, thank God, we have um, awesome neighbors and they actually homeschool their, their little kids. So um, my kids have kids to play with. That is not an issue at all. Maybe you're thinking that um, this might be something you want to do, or maybe you've been, um, you've kind of felt that sensation or that being um, pulled into this same situation. I've talked to a lot of moms, um, especially in my local area, who are um, thinking about the idea. But first, before you do anything, um, if your kids are in um, the public school, you do have to withdraw them. So um, you just let your school know. You can send a letter or an email, and you let your school know that you're withdrawing your child from um, their district, from their school, and. Um, let them know that you are going to be learning at home, you'll be um, teaching them at home, and that they can forward any of their academic um, records to your address. It's really simple as that. You don't have to tell them what curriculum you're using. You don't have to do anything. Just let them know that you won't, you won't be coming back to school. Um, once you withdraw them from school, I, I do recommend that you do research um, the laws in your, in your state, all the different all states have different laws um, and I wrote down a website here that you can go to look for this and it has it broken down state by state exactly what needs to be done because some states you have to test each year some states you don't everything's different so all I know is what's from Texas I didn't look at any other states but if you go to www.hslda.org that's going to break it down and tell you um, I guess like um, the different laws and your rights for homeschooling in your state website is perfect. It has tons of articles um, about your rights and the laws and everything. So definitely become informed. Um, educate yourself. That is like my number one um, piece of advice there. You have to do your own, you, you have to do your own research. Um, also, uh, I have um, purchased a couple of books to read just to kind of get my mindset right about um, teaching your kids. So I have um, on my, on, I ordered a um, book from Amazon that it came across. It looked, had great reviews. It looked really interesting. And then 
some another homeschooling mom also recommended that book so i'm really excited that i went ahead and purchased that it is called the brave learner so i'm excited to read that and i may even um, do like a little book report here a book review here once i have read that so once you do your research, once you look at your laws for your state, um, once you do your research, maybe you read a couple books, listen to some podcasts, um, get some tips and tricks from, from other homeschooling moms, then it's time to decide what homeschooling style that you want to follow. And this will play, pay, this will play a huge role into which curriculum that you choose. Um, there's tons of different styles that you can um, look up. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Um, look it up here on YouTube. Um, but personally, I've decided to start at least with a more traditional approach. Um, it just makes sense because one, I was a school teacher. I think that it's going to be kind of hard for me to jump into anything else right from the get-go. Um, with that being said, I do believe that, um, and I'm sure many homeschooling moms can attest to this, that your style will kind of change over time. Um, but I've decided to kind of go more a traditional approach. Um, we won't be doing school all day or anything, but we will have textbooks. Um, and I'll be uh, making, you know, checking for mastery that way, um, especially when doing work with my with my third grader. Um, but there's different approaches, so yeah, just decide what you want to do. If you want more of like a laid back, more um, unschooling, or more relaxed homeschool, um, you kind of just learn throughout the day. If your kid has a question about something, you can kind of um, look it up and research it there together. Um, there's different unit studies that you could do. If you do like a unit study approach, which I love unit studies, I'll probably put some together for our um, science and social studies and um, we'll just choose a topic and that's what we'll be working on until we get through that unit study. So there's way more than that. I, I don't even know all of them. Um, maybe I'll research them more and share that information with you guys. But I feel like you know kind of like what approach you want to take. It'll be a lot it'll be a lot easier moving into picking out a curriculum because that can be a little overwhelming. I purchased some curriculum and then I'm already second guessing that curriculum. So what I've decided to do is we're gonna get that curriculum in, we're gonna start it, we're gonna try it, and if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna cry about it. We're gonna find something else. Um, come up with my own curriculum. Most likely I will be um, putting bits and pieces from different curriculums together just because, like I said, I need to kind of meet my kids where they are and that's what we're gonna try to do there. But there's tons of curriculum out there. There's free curriculum. I know Easy Peasy is one of them. Um, I used a preschool curriculum that was free. It was ABC Jesus Loves Me. If you have a preschooler, there you go. That's perfect. But yeah, just look up free, um, free homeschool curriculum. I know that the good and the beautiful has um, free language um, curriculum grades one to five, I believe. We did end up choosing to use the good and the beautiful for language just because, like I said, um, one, my daughter needs we have lots of gaps to fill in. So that's what we decided to do for language um, and reading. I also chose that for my for my oldest just because he was kind of lacking a lot of the language and grammar pieces and I felt like it was a really solid um, curriculum. It's something he can do on his own so we did that to kind of fill in some gaps there just to help him out going forward um, just to become a better writer really. And then I have plans. Um, we're going to be using uh, teaching textbooks for him for math, which is an online. I think that's going to be best for him. Like I said, he's a perfect, um, he, he's just a self learner. And then I have not decided yet on my third grader for math, but I will bring, I will make a video once we decide on all of our curriculum. But yeah, um, there's also different um, online programs you could use. I know like K-12 is, um, it's a public school, but it is at home. Um, so you can look at that. Um, there's just, you just gotta make the best decision for your family. And then whenever you come across a video that says, hey, this decision wasn't the best for my family and that's the decision that you made, you just kinda have to, again, take it with a grain of salt and we're gonna try it out and we're gonna go for it. That's all that you can really do, right? You just, you just gotta try. So yeah, that's why we've decided. So this is my video. 
why we have decided to homeschool this next year um, and also some steps that you could take to um, follow suit and do the same for your family if you feel that that is going to be best for your kids and yourself this this school year i hope you got something out of this video um it was my first video but i am excited to make some um, future videos in this space in the homeschooling space i've i've wanted to um, create a channel on youtube for a long time and um i just have not I have not felt like a, a pool on which direction that I want that I needed to take and all of a sudden this was it so this is my first video why we were homeschooling and I cannot wait to share our space upstairs we have this beautiful homeschool homeschool room upstairs um, I cannot wait to share the curriculum we choose and um, how it goes and different unit studies and all sorts of things I have planned if you would like to follow along please 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 subscribe and we will see you in our next video.